All right, so I don't often get to show off my handiwork because I'm just not that great at anything. But today we are putting together the grill, the Q320. It's a repair. The uh, let's get off of let's get off of me. So basically, the old um, I guess oh I should have looked this up. The, the, where the gas comes in because it's a propane tank, right? Uh, that started rusting off. Right, and I just noticed these these flames. It was covered in food and and everything else. I used a toothbrush, and then it's like, oh, it's a giant hole. Got it. It's rusted out. So I ordered a totally new set, as you can see. The hardest thing about removing these was these um, these screws up here. Right. I had to use some pliers. I had to use some uh, some screws screwdrivers. This bottom one, the screwdriver at the top, you can see is pretty well formed, so you could. Uh, you have to lean on it with two hands. This one, it has a little slit in there, but it didn't work, so I have to use a plier for that. And once, to take these things out, um, I just have to sort of twist it out, and then the, the burner unit over there, it came out very easily. Super, super easy. It's mostly that it's old and gross. You know, it's from 2000, I bought it in 2009. They don't even, they have the 3200 now. There's really not a huge difference between that. Let's see here. Is that where we're going to see it? Between the 3200. Let's see. Can we can we take it back a little? Oh, other way. Oh, perfect. I think it is perfect. You know what? Let me do it this way. Can we do it this way? Is this going to work? You know what? Let's let's around. Yeah. Let's do it like that. I think we can, yeah, we can fiddle with it. So we're actually going to put it in live, just so just so we can see. I just want to clean a little bit over here. That's really it. Just so the connection is, is nice and, and good. That's about it. This is where the spark comes in, if you listen. You, you, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you see the... It's a little battery operated thing. Sometimes it doesn't work, so I just have to use a barbecue lighter. You know? Anyway, so I'll put all the links below of what I bought, but it looks like it's a perfect fit. So. Oh, okay. Uh, was there something here? There's an extra hole here. I'm not sure. Does it show? There's like an extra hole. Let me show you. Right over here. I don't know. We'll wing it. Oh, I think that's where my maybe the oxygen comes in. Huh. Oh, that's where the um well who knows who cares. Well, let's just scrape some of this off. You know, and I also took pictures of this and the underside of it in case everything fell apart just to see what would go back, but I don't think we've had to use those pictures because it was just so simple and straightforward. All right. <clears throat> All right, so the crappier screw, the good screw is on the bottom for me and the crappier one is up top. But let's put in the bottom, the uh, this single little tube over here first. Let's do that. This matches, obviously, the uh, little spindle thing matches with this. And hold on, no, I'm gonna put in, yeah. We'll shove this in here. And I think, yeah, we'll just have to, to fit that on, all right? Let me uh, go back to, yeah, I'm just gonna do that by hand. I'm not gonna show it, it looks pretty easy. Just gonna make sure it slides on and hopefully that goes under, like, let me see. I'll report back once it's done here. So let's try it, just shoving it in forward this way. Nope. This goes in first, yes. Okay. Yeah, kind of twist it on. Shove it back a little bit. Don't break it, because that's metal too. And, oh, hold on. This is not good. Okay, that's not good, because yeah, my concern is that's where the gas comes in, so I don't want that flying off, right? Because then it doesn't get gas, and the gas is everywhere but the uh, grill. Okay, this is this is simple. This is not hard. So as I said, the uh, good screw 
Yeah, the good. Well, I mean, that's kind of subjective, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this is, I think it's the same size, so it won't even matter, but. Alright, let's try to make it a little straight here. Are we still on camera? Yes. Perfect. And, uh. And this is still on? Is it still on? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it's a lot easier going in than it was, or yeah, than coming out. That's what she said. Look at that. Oh, wow. All right, we might tighten it up again. I don't know. All right, so. And uh, that's it. It's the same thing here. You got to line that thing up that's sticking out that looks kind of gold yellow brass color. You gotta shove this in, wiggle it in, and make sure it matches in. Oh! First try. Oh wow, that's it. That's, that's it. It's that simple. And, uh, um, let's see here. Yeah, just push it in. Wow. Well, I hope it, I'm gonna have to turn the uh, propane on and see because this just seems like such an easy, simple little fit there. All right, so we got the worst screw, and even that goes in smooth. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Does this work? Okay, look at that. And... In, but let's just, yeah, that's a bit loose. In fact, let me, well, this isn't loose anymore. The bottom, the bottom straight one is, it, it looks a little bit off, but that could be just, it, it looks like it's going to work. Let me tighten it. Just one more crank if we can. Okay, that's one, two. Okay, that's as good as we're going to do here. This one could use a little more tightening. Yeah. It's not like we're going to trapeze off of this, so who cares, right? Alright. And these are in alignment. They are in there. I mean, you know. I always like to blow on it. Let me get the uh, emergency barbecue lighter as well. There we go. Let me attach this. Propane and propane accessories that we're dealing with here today. There we go. Nice. You gotta hear the click. There we go. Open. All right. Engage starters. Ignition. You hear it? All right. Now. Let's see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> it looks, well, it's still too, too light out to see. I like it. It's a lot more even. You know? Oh, wow. I mean, it just, it doesn't have the same, no, it just burns like it should. And uh, this is, how loose is this? Eh, it's pretty tight now. It doesn't move around much. Oh, I probably shouldn't be doing too much of that. Well, I, I, I suppose that's it. It's a successful install of the uh, Q3 320 Weber grill replacement for the um, gas, um, I should have looked this up, the gas thing in the middle. And it looks totally new, except for the rest of it, as it looks kind of russet. But that's fine. This this is amazing. This is amazing. This is so cool. And it looks like the burners are working a lot better as well. Oh, I love it. Anyways, that's it, and uh, job well done.